Hey, sub family, welcome back to another video, guys. So today we got the 2005 Kia Spectra EX, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to replace your ignition coil on the 2005 Kia Spectra EX, guys. So let's go ahead and get straight to the video. So what you want to do first is just remove this beauty cover from right here, and you want to go ahead and take a 10 millimeter socket, and this will help you remove all four bolts from each corner, guys. So you want to go ahead after you unscrew the bolts. I already unscrewed three of them. This is the fourth one. So I unscrewed that one as well, guys. And you want to just pick that up with your hand and put that over to the side and then go ahead and pick up your beauty cover just like so, guys. So this is the cold air intake. And what I'm going to do is remove this because this will allow me to have better access to the ignition cool, guys. So what you want to do is go ahead and take a flathead like this and we're going to just loosen this bracket up like so, guys. And after you loosen that bracket up there, it should just move like that. And then you want to take a pair of pliers. I got a mini pair here, guys. And then we're going to go ahead and take this little prong that's in here. It's a plastic prong. And we're going to pinch those two sides together and pull down on this little wire. And that should pop straight out like that. You also want to be careful of these connectors here. But you want to look right here. And there's a little tube, an intake tube. And then you want to go ahead and gently pull that out guys just like so and lay that down to the bottom just like that guys now we're down at the cold air intake box here and what you want to do is take these little levers and just push them down like that guys and this will allow you to lift it up like that now that we're up here you want to go ahead and remove this connector from the mass airflow sensor just like that and just push that out of the way it'll be fine over here okay guys so what you want to do is you want to take this cold air intake part and just slowly and gently wiggle it out of there just like so just be careful for the surrounding parts and it should pop out just like that guys and now it's removed now you want to remove the spark plug wires that are labeled one four three and two so we're going to go ahead and start with one and we're going to remove that and you can just put that to the side. You want to remove four, three, and two. After you remove the spark plug wires, and that's one, four, three, and two, you're going to see this bolt right here, and you're going to need a half socket for this bolt. So you want to go ahead, break the bolt, and I've previously done that. Then you're going to go ahead and just remove that bolt. Okay, guys so there's a bolt that's at the bottom of that bolt that we just removed and that bolt is a 12 millimeter so you need a 12 millimeter socket to remove this bolt i'm going to go ahead and put that on there and i previously broke that bolt so it's going to come straight out and you can screw it out the rest of the way by hand guys and as you can see it's a little loose now two bolts are located right here in the rear and you need a 12 millimeter socket for those so I previously cracked the bolts already, so they're ready just to be screwed out. So you want to go ahead. I'm going to show you how to put your ratchet back there. So you want to go ahead and take your ratchet and just put it under here like this and then put an extension on that ratchet. And then you should be able to reach that bolt just like that. So you want to come back over here and I'm going to try to move this little hose out the way so you guys can see that. And then we're going to unscrew that some more. Just like so. And this is the top bolt. And then there's one right here, guys, at the bottom. If you can see that, there's one at the top right there and then one at the bottom. So we're going to get that bottom one as well. And guys, make sure when you do crack these bolts, you hold the back of your ratchet like this. And you push and then you turn down at the same time like this, guys. And then you want to turn. So as you can see, I'm still removing that bolt back there. And then you can take that ratchet out of there. You can go ahead and take your finger 
and unscrew the bolts the rest of the way, guys. And I'll show you guys how to unscrew these all the way. And that's one, guys. That's what it looks like. And then we're going to get the second one towards the bottom. And we almost got the second bolt out, guys. And that's how you remove the two bolts in the back. Okay, guys, so we've removed all four bolts from this corner and that corner. And what you want to do now is just go ahead and slide the ignition cool straight up out of there like that, guys. And this will give you better access to this screw behind here. There's a screw right here, guys, that you're going to have to remove. And this will take this little tiny bracket off of this bracket. Now we're going to go ahead and remove this little bracket. And all you need is a screwdriver like this and you want to take your screwdriver and put it behind here and then unscrew that screw and it's fairly easy to unscrew guys so don't worry sorry if you can't really see that but that's how you remove that and you want to just go ahead and take that screw up out of there okay this is the final step guys to removing this old ignition cool so what you want to do is go ahead and take this connector off of the ignition coil like that guys and now you can pull the old one out and this is the original and it looks really bad guys this is good to replace every hundred thousand miles so i do recommend you to do that so before you put your new ignition coil in here you want to go ahead and make sure you clean this area you don't have to do you know a spectacular job because i know it can be pretty hard to clean up but you want to just clean it good enough i clean mine so you want to go ahead and take this bracket and this is the last step because the new one comes with a bracket and squeeze this little prong right there with a pair of pliers and it's a plastic prong guys and then pull at the same time and it'll come out just like that so we got the ngk ignition coil right here and as you can see guys this is really nice and this is going to be more efficient than this original one guys so this is what they look like in comparison to each other and i just wanted to show you guys that on the new ignition coil the bracket on the side that we just previously removed that has to be moved up just a tiny bit because as you can see it's kind of hitting this wire and that prong has to go in there so what you want to do that plastic prong so what you want to do is go ahead and unscrew that slightly and just move it up at an angle like that and then after you do that you want to hold your hand like this and just tighten it just like this guys and that's all you need to do to move that bracket up there more guys now i'm going to install the ignition coil in place so what you want to do is install it the same way you took it out just like that and it will hold itself in place and then you want to go ahead and grab one bolt you want to go ahead and tighten this by hand guys just like so and you want to make sure you tighten it all the way towards the end And these bolts will hold it in place, guys. So that's one. And now we're going to go ahead and do the bottom one. And you want to just screw that one in by hand. It's down here, guys. The one below.
And then that's going to hold that in place right there, guys. So you can put the other two bolts in in the back by hand. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, guys. So I put some anti-seize on the first bolt back here because the first bolt is a little bit harder to take out. So I do recommend you to put some anti-seize on this bolt, guys. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to put these in. I already put them in halfway. As you can see, the bottom bolt is in halfway as well. So you want to go ahead and take your ratchet and take your 12 millimeter socket and stretch it back there. And I'm going to try to show you guys this. And then you just want to tighten that first bolt in there. It's going in slowly but surely, guys. It's almost in all the way, guys. See how hard the top one is to get in there, guys? You really want to make sure you put some anti-seize lubricant on this top one here. And now we're gonna go and screw the bottom one in, guys. You don't really gotta spec this down at all. It's not really, it's just a bracket holding onto the engine. So down there, as you can see that bottom one, it's below the top bolt. And we're just gonna screw that in with the 12 millimeter socket. And once that's tight, guys, you should see this plate on this bracket on the ignition coils touching the engine right here, and they should be close together, guys. So if you see a gap right here in between this ignition coil bracket and the engine, you want to keep unscrewing these two bolts in with your 12 millimeter socket, guys. And that one's tight. Don't go overboard. And then we're going to continue on this one until it's tight. And that one's tight enough, guys, right there. And that's all you need to do for the two bolts in the back. Now I'm going to screw the front ones in. Also wanted to mention before we screw the two bolts in on the front is that little bracket back here. You want to go ahead and take that little plastic prong and just push it up into there like that, guys. And it should just stick in there like that, guys. You want to go ahead and take your screwdriver and put it under these hose like this. And you're going to come back here and right there you'll see this screw on that little bracket and you just want to tighten that just like that guys and that's good to go and it's tight and it's not going to move we're going to go ahead and tighten these two front bolts up right here i do want to mention to you that this half inch socket right here is almost the same size as a 12 millimeter socket so they pretty much work the same so i just wanted you to know that and this is for the top bolt here because I don't have a longer um, socket like this and the 12 millimeter, but these are both 12 millimeter bolts right here, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and screw this top bolt in here with the half inch socket. And that one's tight. And now I'm going to go ahead and take the 12 millimeter socket. I want to screw this bottom bolt in right here. Just hand tight guys. And that's all we need right there. So on the old one, as you can see, you can't see the numbers at all, but it's numbered one, four, three, and two on this one. The new one, it looks really nice. The font on the letters, you can see boldly. So right there is one, four, three, and two, and I'll show you how to connect those. Now we're gonna plug the NGK spark plug cables into the ignition coil. So you wanna go ahead and take number one and plug it in the number one 
area on the ignition coil. And then you want to take the number four cable and plug it into the number four area on the ignition cable. And make sure you push it down like this, guys. And also put the cables in their designated prong areas. Then you're going to go ahead and take cable three and plug it into the cable three area on the ignition coil. And then set it down in the plastic prongs here. And then you want to go ahead and take number two and put it in the number two area on the ignition coil, guys. And press it down and then put it in its plastic prongs. And that's the job right there, guys. That's all you need to do. Your ignition cool will work fantastic and your car will start straight up. So I'm about to start the car up and this is what it should sound like. Guys, that sounds amazing. It started up the first time and that's exactly what you wanna hear. So we're gonna take this cold air intake and we're gonna reconnect everything back to the cold air intake and we're gonna plug it right back up, guys. So let's start with putting this in on here, guys. Just like that, you want to straighten it up a bit, make sure it's on there, feel the bottom, make sure the bottom lip is on there, just like that. Then we're going to come down here to the air box, and as you can see right here, guys, back here there's a little clip that you put it under, like this. You just push it, then you want to go ahead and take these clips and just push them up on the air box like that and that secures it in place guys now you want to come up here on the cold air intake and plug this hose back in just like this guys and you just want to wiggle it and push it on there until it reaches the very end and that's how you put it on there guys so you want to come up here to the cold air intake and you want to take a screwdriver and tighten this screw up here and this will tighten this bracket to hold your cold air intake in place guys and now the brackets all nice and tight that's not going nowhere you want to connect this to the mass airflow sensor and what you want to do is take this little plastic prong here and this holds it in place and you want to connect that back right there and then you want to connect the connector back to the mass airflow sensor just like that guys everything's connected everything's complete make sure you check it over again and look to make sure everything's connected guys I also want to mention don't forget this little step here you want to take this little wire and just push it into this prong right there and that'll hold that in place i do want to mention to you that when your kia spectra your engine light will pop up when you disconnect the connector from the mass airflow sensor and all you need to do is take a cheap obd2 scanner like this and this will allow you just to delete the code you should have no worries and no engine lights once you erase the code with this obd2 scanner guys once you erase the code with this obd2 scanner you will no longer have any more engine lights on your dash so do not worry make sure you pick you up a cheap obd2 scanner and this will help you to erase that code and it will no longer come back guys because there's nothing wrong with your mass airflow sensor so don't think that there's anything wrong it just pops on when it's disconnected so i'm going to start the car for you and just let you hear what it sounds like and show you that there's no engine lights on the dash at all and now what you want to do is go ahead and plug your obd2 scanner up and we're going to go ahead and hit enter right now it's linking to the vehicle And as you can see, guys, there's no codes found. And we're going to go ahead and click on that. We're going to click on read codes, engine codes. It's reading. There's no codes stored in the vehicle. And that's exactly what you want to see. So this is the last and final part. And what we're going to do, like always, is reinstall the beauty cover, guys. So make sure all the bolt holes on each side match up with each other. Just like so. Now you want to take your first bolt here and put that in by hand. And you're going to put the second one in by hand. 
just like so. Then you're going to go ahead and take this third one and put it in my hand, guys, just like so. Then you're going to take the last one, and that's the fourth one, and put it in my hand, guys. And now we're going to tighten them all, and I'll show you guys how to do that. That's one tighten. That's two tighten. And guys, that's the third one tightened. And that's the fourth one tightened down, guys. And that's all you need to do. The video is complete, guys. I hope you like that installation. Okay, guys, so I hope you like the video on how to replace the ignition coil on the 2005 Kia Spectra EX. If you could, I appreciate it if you like, comment, and subscribe. And I just want to let you guys know, Jesus is king. God bless you guys, and I'll see you all in the next one.